Hi guys, it's Ramina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 240 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you already attempted it. Let's just dive right in. An insurance policy covers losses incurred by a policy holder subject to a deductible of 10000 Incurred loss follows a normal distribution. Oh, that's kind of a awful one. Normal distribution with a mean at 12000 and a standard deviation of C. Um, the probability that loss is less than K, probability that, let's say, X is our loss, is less than K, is equal to 0.9582, where K is a constant. Given that, okay, given, okay, given that loss exceeds our deductible, which deductible right here is 10,000 right here, 10,000, um, there is a probability of 0 0.9500 that it is less than k. It is less than k. Um, and then we're trying to find c. All right, all right, not too bad, not too. Mm, yeah, not too bad. So, first of all, if it's this is our regular graph, right? But because it's conditional, this is what we're looking for. Let's say this is our deductible ten thousand. Instead of ha ha um, finding, let's say k is like right here. Let's say. Instead of finding where x is less than k like this, we're trying to find when it's from our deductible to our k, wherever k may be. So we're trying to find this in-between space. Oh man, technical difficulties. So if we're trying to find this in-between in in space. Okay, so then we can still use our formula. So our conditional probability formula. So our formula goes like this, right? x is less than k, x is greater than 10,000 divided by the probability that x is greater than 10,000. Okay. Yeah. So this, when it's x is less than k, right? But it's also greater than 10,000, this purple range. How do we find that? Well, we can think of it like this. We can first find a probability that it is x is less than k, right? So that's x is less than k is this part minus this part right here, right? If Because this is the part we don't need. Minus x is less than 10,000. Agreed? I mean, for technically technical difficult, I mean, techni technicality, we can put that um, including 10,000, but it really doesn't make a difference because it's a continuous. Okay, so we can, what we can do is we can actually multiple, um, try to solve for x is less than k. So this is equal to, okay, so I'm just going to write that down, is equal to 0.95 times 1 minus the probability that x is less than um, 10,000. Okay, so then we also know, we can also still try to keep going and solve for that um, x is less than 10,000. So let's say x is less than 10,000 is equal to, so negative x is less than 10,000 plus 0.95 probability of x is less than 10,000 is equal to 0.95 minus probability that x is less than k. Do you kind of agree? Because I just multiplied this right here and then I distributed that. So this is positive 0.95 and then this is still negative on this side. Okie dokie, let me jokey. So I can actually factor out x is less than 10,000 out. So I get 0.95 minus 1 is equal to 0.95 minus probability that x is less than k. Alright, so this probably that x is less than 10,000 is equal to 0.95 minus probability that it is x is less than k divided by negative 0.05. Okay, oh, look at that. And we know what the probability that x is less than k is. That's right here, right? x is less than k, they give you is this number right here. So I can just plug that in, 0.95 minus 0.9582 divided by negative 0.05. So that's equal to positive 0.164. So let me pull up my chart, positive 0.164. Oh, I would have to do 1 minus 0.164. Look at the 836, which is about 0.98, so I would say this is about, which is probably like right here, right? 0.164, so, and an x is less than this, so we're trying to find what this value is right here. 
what's the z value that will get me for this percent right here to be 0 0.164 0 0.836 which is this whole thing right here right this purple the z score corresponding on this side will be 0 0.98 um, which means if I'm looking for just this part right here, then I can just take one minus, or I can just bring this over to. The, then I can just bring this over to the other side, so it'll be negative point nine eight. So this is when I normalize it. This will become z probability that z is less than ten thousand minus twelve thousand divided by c is equal to point one six. Oh, is equal to negative point nine eight. So solving for C, we get C is equal to 2040.8, which is our answer A. And then it differs just a little bit, but then again, you know, when we find the Z value, it wasn't exactly point, this point nine eight wasn't exactly this whole thing. So that's where the, the, the discrepancy come from. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.